I'm going to show you guys on PC how to make your gameplay look absolutely amazing, how to add a fisheye to your game officially. I'll also be mentioning today how to increase your frame rate for people with low-end PCs because that does seem to be a problem with a lot of maps and certain mods with this game. Another great tip for this is I'll show you guys how to upscale your gameplay to play in a higher resolution than what your monitor is capable of handling. It's a little bit lesser known, that tip, but it's really, really useful for making really good-looking footage. And I'll show you guys how to get really smooth-looking clips in Skeeter XL, even if you're on a low-end PC. And all this feedback, I hope that the console players kind of take it in, soak it in, and realize that you guys need these things too. And hopefully you guys can ask for these things from Easy Days because I believe these features are crucial. If you guys are just learning how to install mods for your first time, this is not the video to watch for that. Definitely check out my link down below for my modding guide. Make sure to watch my tutorial how to install your mods for the first time first. This will help you out after you've installed mods already, all right? So you guys can see the top left here, I have a FPS counter. We're currently running at about 92 to 94 FPS average or so, which is pretty good. So we're running at 2560 by 1440p resolution. That's a very high resolution and on ultra graphics. These settings will depend on your computer and your frame rate will be different than mine. Your resolution might be different as well. But I'll show you guys how to get this and achieve these settings, even without the proper tools. One tip that helps me out a lot is press Control F10 and turn off the sound mod. Look at my frame rate. We're up to 101 to 103, 105 I saw FPS. So we actually increased our frame rate by 10. It's turned off, the sounds are working, and my frames are higher. So that's pretty good. That does not work for every single map though. So there's some cases where if you do that, it won't change anything at all. I'm not really sure why. This is just something that I keep on at all times to make my gameplay look better by default. So watch this. I call this one the stock preset. There's bloom. Chromatic Aberration, Motion Blur, uh, Vignette, and that is about it. You can also do uh, other stuff too, but that's all we kind of need right now. So what I'm going to do here is go to my sliders in Bloom, turn the sliders all the way to the left, and turn Bloom on. And it actually removes the Bloom, which is kind of weird. So if you turn the Bloom on, it removes the Bloom. Chromatic Aberration, this one is, I don't like it, it looks terrible. So you can see what it does, all the way down, sliders all the way off, and make sure to turn it, turn it on. Motion blur. Bro, we don't want motion blur. So vignette is the last one. That stock setting I keep on at all times. And it actually makes the game run a little bit higher FPS too. So the camera settings over here. This is how I'm playing the game. I'm not really sure what the heck that is. But I like to play in follow camera mode. And whenever I do a pop now, the camera will follow my board. And you can, you can adjust how much it follows. So if you guys want to copy my stats and settings, there they are, man. You can just take a screenshot of that. But I can adjust my field of view you know, to whatever I want. I like to keep it around 80 or 77 or so between there. You can make him go off to the side like this. You can skate in the middle if you want, I think. You can go like right here. You can skate down low or up high. However you want to skate, you can do it. So I could not play the game without the Excel graphics mod and especially the follow camera. I think that that needs to be considered and definitely pushed for for people to ask for on console. We need to have a follow camera. It's a very, very small thing that makes the game feel so much better. So reshade is really easy. Just go to reshade.me. I'll leave a link down below to this, guys. Click the download button. Download reshade 4.9.1. We're going to do that. Let me just close this. You guys can see what I'm doing. So we're going to click that. And then you're basically going to select Skater XL. So you should have Skater XL installed in your computer somewhere. So you want to find it. The next step will ask you if you want to use DirectX 11 or OpenGL, I believe. You want to use OpenGL. Whenever it asks you that question, select OpenGL. It'll ask you what shaders you want to install. I just select all of them and then that's it. So the next thing we're going to do here is open a reshade and that is by pressing the home button on your uh, keyboard. I would recommend to go through these and just kind of experiment, but there are a couple that I recommend that are very commonly used. The most common one I would recommend is Fake HDR. And you can see what it does off the bat here. It makes the game just look a little bit more contrasty, more vibrant colors, more saturated, just overall just looks better. At the bottom right corner here, you want to make sure that you have performance mode turned on. That will actually make sure that it's running efficiently. If you want to adjust the settings, performance mode to turn it off. Now you have these sliders here. So I have fake HDR. I can slide it up even more. I can slide it down. Whenever you're done sliding stuff around, press performance mode again and then you can press the home button to close and now you have your settings applied so that's looking decent it's still looking a little bit a little bit high contrast so i can kind of change those even more another really 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 powerful one is called unsharp.fx 
So if I apply this one, it applies even more contrast. You can see the sky, it looks a little bit weird. So I might have to do some adjustments with this one because the sky is looking kind of off right now, but the ground is looking really nice. Another decent one is Vibrance. This one is just to make it look more saturated like this. If you guys want it or not, this might not be your look, but you can always adjust it with the sliders. And that's kind of all that I use. I really usually go for just the fake HDR and the Vibrance. That's kind of what I usually go for. Kind of like that. That's kind of like usually what I go for a little bit on my streams and videos. The Unsharp, it looks really nice, but I lose about 20 FPS by doing that. So it's up to you if this is worth it or not. I would recommend using these filters while you're filming. I don't usually have Unsharp while I'm playing the game, but if I'm filming a clip, I would turn Unsharp on. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, like I do, go to your NVIDIA control panel. If you have an AMD card, there should be something equivalent to this. So you want to find the control panel for your graphics card, essentially. You see a big list here of all the resolutions that you have. Create custom resolution, and I'll type it in. And that's about it. That's pretty good looking, I think. I'm not sure about the color depth and stuff. I think that's all looking decent. After you create the custom resolution, you'll probably see your resolution down here somewhere in this list. You don't have to actually press it. You should be okay. As long as you have the resolution in this list, you should be okay. That's all you have to do here. Assuming that we have the Excel graphics mod already installed into your gameplay, this is what you need to do next. We're going to pretend that my gameplay is 1080p. So let's simulate that right now. So this is your game. It's 1080p. Let's go to Excel graphics and put it into windowed mode. Okay. And now it's in windowed mode, right? Let's go to our settings full screen. So this should be turned off by itself because the Excel graphics mod actually did that for us. So what we could do now is increase our resolution up to what we customized or what we made ourselves. The game doesn't actually know how big our monitor is anymore. We're using a windowed mode. So if you're on a 1080p monitor and you do this up to 2560, 1440, it'll be like this, like where your game's like way off the screen, like really big like that. So that's kind of what you want. So the next step is the most important one. So you have the game running at 2K resolution now. You can exit this by pressing B. This should work, right? So make sure you exit that. Your game is now really big. And now you have to open up the Excel graphics mod. So you're going to press backspace. You click exclusive windowed mode. This is the most important step. You have to play the game now in exclusive windowed mode for this all to work. So if you click this, it'll shrink your window down to your monitor's frame rate. If you check your frame rate, it's going to make the game run pretty heavy. So you want to be doing this if you're on a high-end PC that can handle this kind of stuff because you'll probably lose a decent frame rate from doing that. But if you have a decent PC, it's probably not a big hit at all. Fisheye settings. I would recommend guys to read all of these steps. There's different lenses for this. You can see the MK1 and MK2 and the iPro. There's different kinds of lenses. So make sure just to read every single one of these things. It's very important. It's not very hard. Just make sure to follow along the steps. So essentially what we have here is we have reshade presets and we have Excel graphics presets. So the Millennia Optics Fisheye will come with all of these filters applied. These will all be turned on. You'll have all of this chromatic aberration. You'll have probably this one too. And this is how your camera will look if you have it installed properly. Let's pretend that your frame rate while filming this is really low. That's pretty common. If your frame rate is lower than 60 FPS, when you watch the video, it'd be very choppy. It won't look smooth. It will look kind of hard. It'd be kind of hard to watch. We're going to open up the XXL mod. We're going to go to the other tab, replay playback speed. We're going to go to, uh, let's go to half. So 0.5. I'm going to record this footage. So that's full speed. So we have the full speed audio. So we're going to press the A button to play it back and record at half speed. So basically what we're doing is we're taking our half speed clip and doubling the speed now. If we have a 45 FPS clip at half speed, if we double the speed, it'll be a 90 FPS clip. So all of my YouTube videos, all of my Skeeter XL videos are all done in DaVinci Resolve. I'll leave a link down below to the free version of it. So I can go to this clip right here and then we're going to go to Retime Controls. You can go to Clip Speed as well too. So change clip speed, 200% speed, change. Now we have our clip. The audio is distorted in the software though. So the audio did not work in that. What I usually do for this is just take the audio from the full speed clip, overlay it over top of that clip, and we'll have to match it up. So this is a landing sound, and I want to match that sound with the landing right here of the, of the board. So see if this looks good at all. And it looks good. That's fine. 
So that is how you can take a low frame rate clip and speed it up to make it look really good. Anyways, guys, that covers everything in terms of graphics, how to make your gameplay look amazing in Skater XL to your own liking, how to make your fisheye work, and how to film clips on both high-end PCs, low-end PCs. And all of these features definitely need to make their way into the core gameplay. I think that these are essential. A fisheye camera is an essential part of a skateboarding game. It needs to be added to the game. It has to be there. This changes how the game feels, how the game looks. It makes it so much better without even changing a single stat. So I definitely hope that you guys realize now that you guys need this. It's very important for people on PC. I think people on console should be asking for it as well. Anyways, guys, hope this helped. If you guys have any comments or questions, just leave a comment down below in the comment section of this video or even reach out to me on Discord as well too. Peace.